Would you come to the Philippines if there were no Filipinas? More than likely not. I mean, would you come here for the cuisine? Would you come here for the humid weather? Would you come here just for the culture solely? No, there are other places like that. There's Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Singapore. They have something similar. So for me, the X Factor, or the je ne sais quoi, that certain something, has to be the Filipina. So what does Filipinas represent to me? In my opinion, because it's solely my opinion. If you meet a good one, and they're not hard to find, good ones I mean, Yes, there are bad uns, wrong uns, whatever you want to call them, but you can get rid of them easy. When you get a good un, you get someone who's loyal, caring, hardworking. And when I say hardworking, I kind of mean industrious in the relationship. Hardworking within the relationship. I don't mean hard working in terms of a slave. They talk English. Now it doesn't mean to say communication is perfect because translations go amiss, meanings go amiss, wrong interpretations sometimes go amiss, but they talk English. And they talk in the main an American version of English, which is fine. Now, if we were to look at a place like Thailand versus the Philippines, I've never actually been to Thailand myself, but this is what I've researched. The food, <clears throat> better in Thailand than the Philippines. Thais, unless they're quite educated, they speak little to no English, which to me is a big barrier, which to me means you would have to learn to speak their language or have problems in communication. Here in the Philippines, there are some people that don't talk English. There are some. Not necessarily the elderly, just depends whether they were educated well enough. And even some of the older folk here talk, uh, a I'd say, a reasonable level of English. Not superb, but reasonable. Some of the younger people talk pretty good English now. I think due to the internet, etc. So for me, Thailand never interested me, even though it's nearer in distance to the UK than Philippines is. Philippines drew me in. It had that X factor, like I said, that je ne sais quoi, that certain something, that mystery. And it was the women of the Philippines. As I've mentioned in many of my videos, I wasn't interested in Western women. I was when I was younger, of course, things were different. But as I grew older and had disappointing relationships, I cut them out of my thinking, of my, oh, I don't know what the word is, I cut them out in terms of knowing I didn't want a Western woman. So I cut out that way of thinking about that. Due to the internet, it was easy to research the Philippines and Westerners who made a success out here. There was YouTube, not originally 
the original YouTube before Google got it, there was nothing about the Philippines on there. But anyway, things progressed and that was one of my building learning blocks. Now, I can't say for sure what Thai girls, Singapore girls, and Malaysian girls are like, etc. I'm sure they are very nice, the very nice ones. I don't just mean looks, I mean heart, the way they think, whatever, whatever. But for me, you cannot beat a Filipina, a good Filipina. Yeah, they can throw a tampo, so can every single woman walking this earth. And for that matter, so can every man walking this earth. There's nothing <clears throat> different in a tampo, but by and large, you cannot go wrong or far wrong with a Filipina. And that's the attraction. They have it all. They have everything a Western woman has not. Western women lost whatever they had, whatever charms they had, many, many years ago. Sure, a Western woman has a sexuality, but that's about all. Men, maybe not all men, but a lot of men want something more than that. They want loyalty. They want someone that cares as much as you care about them. They just want someone who's genuine and not full of garbage as they are in the West. And that's what you get in the Philippines. Now, of course, you can also get scammers. You can also, as I've touched on before, get the perfect Filipina, take her home and in no time at all she's divorcing you. You can get all that as well, which is why you have to choose carefully. And do you have to put work in to make the relationship work? Of course, even the Philippines is no magic cauldron where you sit there and do nothing, or you sit there and you're drunk all day and everything's fine with you, Filipina. Life ain't like that. You have to put work in to make a relationship work. It's a two-way street. And so long as you in return are respectful, you're genuine, you're not causing any problems, you're good to go, in the Philippines at least having a clue about Thailand or anywhere else. Not interested about Thailand or anybody uh, uh, anywhere else. <clears throat> As I keep saying, there are plenty of Filipinas in this country for everyone. They're not going tomorrow. And if you come next year, you haven't missed the boat. There are plenty. It's up to you, or it's down to you, to pick the right one. No one can help you do that. I can't. No vlogger can. No wait, uh, dating website can. You can find pictures of women that you like, but it's down to you to choose the right person. And when you do, choose the right person you will truly understand what the X factor about the Philippines is that's all